Hey guys, welcome to Python video series. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about duck typing in Python. Duck typing in Python is uh, somewhat related to uh, polymorphism uh, in Python. So let's try to understand what is duck typing first of all, and then after we'll uh, try to understand through an example. Yeah. So let's uh, think about uh, if there is a there is an, uh, an object that can uh, fly and quack like a duck it must be a duck right this is a duck typing principle followed in python so if you know the behavior right behavior of any bird then easily you can identify uh, i mean what bird is that right so if uh, uh, if a word uh, quack and fly then that must be a duck right so uh, this is this uh, duck typing is somewhat related to that so duck typing is the one of the uh, good uh, basically feature of uh, python through which we can get the dynamic poly polymorphism so let's try to understand, understand through an example so here i'm going to create a uh, let's say class is called let's say duck and within this this class i'm going to define a method let's say sound and here in this sound of course you can have some functionalities just time being i'm just i'm going to uh, print a message like quack quack and that's the sound of uh, basically duck right now i am going to create another class let's say uh, let's say i'm going to create a cat it's a cat and cat of sound is meow meow let's say meow meow you can and let's say I'm going to create one more class. Let's say human. And human class. I will keep the same method, but here message or behavior I'm going to change. So I'd say hey, hello, yeah. So we have a three class, right, with the same method name. And you can say same signature, same method and uh, variable, and only implementation is different right now i'm going to create one more class uh, let's say i would say class test okay and here in this class i'm going to define a method is called let's say invoke or execute you can say execute method right and this execute method take an object right so now here within this I am going to call, I am going to use this reference, object reference, and I am going to call a sound method, right? Or you can say, uh, yeah, I am going to call a sound method. Sound, right? Now, uh, let's say I am going to create an object of taste. Okay, let's say t equal to taste and now uh, I'm going to create uh, one object for cat let's say c equals to cat okay and I will do t dot execute and here I'm passing a reference of cat right let's see what output I'm getting so here you can see uh, okay why it is calling uh, okay okay guys so here cat I, I i was supposed to change this class name let's say this class name is of course cat and this is duck and this is this this was supposed to human human right so human so when now if i try to run then output is saying meow meow means uh means uh cat sound method is getting called earlier i had given here class name as uh just i did the copy paste cat right so last class so if you have a many classes uh with the same name right and and within that we have a same method then last last uh, last uh, basically method will be called and that's what if you give here cat right by me i did that mistake earlier and it was calling the last sound method of cat right but I, I, my intention was to write human over here now here you can see i have created a test 
uh, class object and uh, using this reference I'm calling execute method I'm passing an object of cat so cat sound method is getting called uh, let's say I'm creating an object of let's say a duck so a d equals to I say d duck right and now I am going to call this same execute method by passing object reference d and again I am going to create uh, one more object that is for human human and here again I am going to call this execute method by passing human reference now if I run then you will see first time when we are calling the execute method by passing cat reference cat object then it is uh, getting called uh, cat uh, sound method when uh, we are passing execute method when we, we are passing a uh, duck object to the ex execute method of taste method that it is calling a uh, sound method of duck right and that's what we, this message got printed when we are calling the execute method by passing the human uh, object that it is calling the human sound method so this is called duck typing in python so this is the one of the way to achieve a uh, dynamic polymorphism uh, in python right so here when uh, when you define this method method at the time you do not define what kind of object uh, is this right in python so at the runtime it is going to decide what kind of object you are going to assign uh, to the this obj and and if that method is available uh, sound method is available in that type of obj then that sound method will be called and this is called duck typing in python and this is the one of the way to achieve dynamic poly polymorphism right so that's all because why dynamic polymorphism because this is going to decide at runtime not at the compile time right so that's all i want to do so in this video guys guys big thank you and see you there in the next video